Brussels sprouts and sprout and cauliflower, onion, fennel and cucumber, plum, pear and papaya Aubergine and sire, lime, lentils and quinoa, oatmeal bread and oatmeal flour, watercress and okra, tofu and sweet pepper Now in Oslo at the moment and uh, the uh, thing right now is that it is the Vegetarian Festival 2022 Despite the name it is a vegan festival However, there is there is rain. There will be rain for this entire day. But there are some other things that I have to pick up before I get there. Uh, but I got a ticket for both days. So, this might be tiring. I think that everything that I'm going to get is either at the body shop or at the health store over there. Yeah, I think that's all on the list. I went to the wrong place. It's actually Lush. It's the place that I'm supposed to buy and they have a lot of vegan options. Soaps and such. I've arrived and the weather is fantastic. <laughs> I'm not sure how big it is this year but it's going to be a little wetter than I'm used to. Looks neat so far, I'll, I'll see. Ja. Det är den också då. Så välkommen till oss. <laughs> What I was trying to say is that I don't like how you pay for food on the festival. So first of all, you scan a QR code and then they expect everyone to have the mobile pay service called Vips, which I don't use because I don't like it. Well, then the other option is to brought in every single number on your credit card and then the security code and then you can buy the food and that's not convenient so yeah i've entered the subway and uh, <laughs> i realized it seems as if my microphone is out of battery uh, <laughs> so i don't know if the last clip actually was uh, recorded properly this is the other day i'm going to be i'm going to be yet another day and you see me alone here but a wild wood appeared suddenly where she came from, I have no idea. Or um, was it that she had jobs so she couldn't come earlier? I thought that that's option number two. Yeah, I found some of these like interesting like food type of Im images, and then this little thing there. That's disgusting. The benefits of today is the weather. It's much much better. Delvis. <laughs> Önska är ju alltid gå i noll. Så när du har arealregnskap, du vet vad du har. Med naturbudget. Eh, det hörs väl enkelt ut, eh, ikring. Det är tro, otroligt enkelt. Eh, eh, du du prövar att inte bygga ner en natur för att du vill helst gå i noll. Eh, och där som du absolut må så måste du också restaurera för att du vill i ett budget så vill du gå i noll. Eh, gärna en plus, men eh, det vill jag på kommer till att ske. Eh, så det hörs otroligt enkelt ut och så är det mycket vanskligare i praxis eh, när man ser på vad slags smakt kommunen är, vad slags makt staten är alltså. Eh, det går ut över kommunernas arealregnskap och naturbudget hvis staten ska utvidga det sex. Eh, så i praxis är det väl lite mer avancerat, eh, men det är flera kommuner i Norge som har infört i vart fall arealregnskap, hvor de kartlägger vad de har. Och det här kommuner eh, i Lofoten og Vesterålen, som har opptatt 
av naturen för det de har märkt att ju mer utbyggning har skett ju mindre turister har de fått. Yeah, that was nature and youth. They they stand for a lot of, lot of good stuff, but there are also some like crazy stuff that where they um, keep into this lie that we need to keep this uh, landscape uh, landscape open. And I confronted him about it, and he, <laughs> he started to like uh, derail and stuff, and to, to find like an excuse and such. And it's just because they have like a uh, cooperation with, with the farmers association and stuff. So that was quite an interesting little uh, thing right Due there. Due to the pandemic, this is the first time they've held this in three years. But it is, in fact, uh, the biggest so far uh, when you talk about people. As you probably can hear, my voice is almost gone due to... Um, I have to speak louder.